My name is Bronson, and I sing and play guitar. I'm Chris, I play guitar. I'm Blaine, I play bass and sing. My name is Jenga, I play the drums. And we're, we're on, on Call Heroes. Heroes. Hi, I'm Carla with 70 Times 7 Easy, and I'm here with On Call Heroes. Uh, hi. <laughs> So, uh, what, what are you guys up to today? Uh, Besides playing show. Okay, here's the highlight of the day. I'm gonna fill this one in. I woke up, I don't know about these guys, they went to work. I woke up, I jumped in my car, I called Jenga, and I was like, hey Jenga, I'm coming over for pancakes. And uh, so, then I go to Jenga's house, uh, his door is unlocked, I don't know why. I go in, uh, he's still in bed. We get up, we try to make pancakes, but he doesn't put butter onto the fryer, and then they all stick in short story. We make the short story short, he screwed them up, and we had about half a pancake each. And then we had Subway, because the pancakes were terrible. That's my day. The sad thing is he could probably make that into an hour story about how they made pancakes and it failed epically. Yeah, I tried to make them as short as I could. <laughs> Really, what we're here for? <laughs> I'm sorry. We're playing a show with uh, 10 Second Epic and Set, the Februarys, in the Shimmy New Seas. We're really stoked for it. So, how many shows have you guys actually played? I can't count. We've been over 20. We've been a band for a year uh, and a bit now, so probably about 30, 40 shows. Have you guys ever played with the set before? No. How did that come to be? We got uh, asked. Asked. By Alex. By Alex. Alex Lidstone oh, yeah. talked to Tristan from the set and mentioned us um, because they wanted to change the set from the set. They wanted to change the lineup from the same old lineup that they have every single month or two months. So they asked us, I guess. That's how it came to be, I guess. Tristan contacted me and they just happened. And we acted like little girls. So I'm the biggest slug. <laughs> Very nice. So how did this band actually come together? Oh god, this is okay. long. Uh, so <laughs> it came from a string of really crappy bands. So like, like, and different genres for sure. Like, Kobe was in some metal band. Bronson and myself were our brothers, and we've always been in the same band. Uh, but it's more like. More emo. Uh, um, e emo is more. We were in that stage for sure. We were definitely in that stage in high school. Like, like the new definition of emo. No, like, 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 like six, year, six years ago. Like, <laughs> okay. shit. I hate that. Can you say that? Can we say the L word? It's Can you believe it? Say L word. I don't have to believe it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Can you say the L word? <laughs> oh, don't. My life. <laughs> Chris came from like an indie kind of thing, um, but very unsuccessful, very <laughs> shitty, <laughs> shitty, <laughs> shitty band. Like, you can actually take a look uh, at our band. If you go to. Uh, Let's not do this. <laughs> Say you did. www.purevolume.com slash universal feedback. It will blow your mind. And or www.myspace.com slash death to Maximus. Or Ma sorry, Maxwell. Death to Maxwell. Death to Maxwell. Two really crappy bands. And like, anyways, the story is uh, we had some really shitty bands, and then um, so first me and Bronson were in a band with a couple guys, and that didn't work out. Then uh, Death to Maxwell came to be, and Kobe was in that, and then we th that was also a really shitty band. Um, but then uh, we, we just kind of like branched off that for ourselves, and then got the cute little one here, um, and it just. We, we had one practice and we just connected. Just clicked really instantly. Well. You know when you like go on a date and it feels like shit? That's what our life felt like until that moment. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I can't see it happening that way. So, how did you come up with the name? I, I, actually, I actually came up with the name On Call Heroes because I'm a super Superman nerd, like heroes nerd. So, same with Chris, actually. Um, but I, I said it first, I was like, guys, come on, on call heroes. We hated it. And, and then Chris and Kobe, Blaine, Blaine, like Blaine told me he liked it, but he's my twin, he'll tell me anything, he'll tell me here. So, um, <laughs> what was our name for one? We thought it came up with some really, really shitty ones. Armageddon Fire Brigade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't I, I was just like, guys, on call heroes, and they're like, 
Yeah, totally. It's awesome. But we'll think about it. <laughs> and then the baby part. We tried so hard to find another name. And we couldn't, and then it just kind of grew on us. And then every time we told people, like, like what do you think of this? And then people just uh, reacted into it pretty well. So A big reason is because like, if you look up On Call Heroes, there's nothing yeah. called On Call Heroes yeah. anywhere. We didn't so. want to start anything. So what kind of genre of music do you guys consider your band? It's so hard. We have troubles like with this all the time. Like all I think it's because well our, our songs are so different. If you listen if you listen to our album, uh, we have a uh, like winter part is really heavy, and then we have like I Need You, which is like an acoustic really folky, folky mm -hmm. song, and then we have uh, Apollo, yeah. which is like a very interesting way of listening. Styles, but let's say overall, I guess it's much more alternative. It's like it's punk. punk. We, we try so hard to like say that we're pop punk because we just like that kind of music, <laughs> and then it's like so endure, like you're not. And it's like, but okay, that also we are. From, that, <laughs> we that want to be. <laughs> that also comes from the different genres of music that we all came from. Yeah, it's really so, rad. Like, it, it mixes differently. So, what artist um, or bands influence you guys mainly? So easy. Wait. On he, he's not in no, one, no, one no, two, no. three, wait, one step. No. no. Uh, <laughs> cut that out. You found glory. Okay. One, two, three. Like, like, we've been listening to it since we were like. Colby, Colby like likes them. He's kind of grew, grew on them, but he never really liked them before, so we shunned him. Okay, Colby, what's your what's your main influence? So we want to know this. Is it Mastodon? Uh, Mastodon, <laughs> yep, definitely. And then lots of other metal bands. Really, if you so. take Blink and you take Mastodon and you squish it, squish it together, it's nothing like us. <laughs> <laughs> except, except the drums. He's, he's pretty, 